Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, I guess this, this is the first show of 2022. We got to say that. Hey, happy hey, everybody's year. here. Yeah, I know. All right, everybody back. Look, David back. Yep. What's good, gang, gang? You was catching flights, David. We we was yeah, we was talking about you last week, dog. We, we was, we really was. Yeah, I see. I tell you, I, I talk about you to your face. See, you know. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that though. Yeah, you, you was know, catching flights, I'll, not I'll hear, yeah. No, no. See, here's the thing about me. I catch flights with my feelings. Oh, oh, okay. okay so. that's- that's so what, what what airline is that then? Like that's not oh, like that sound like that sound like, like that's not like spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever airline that is, I don't want to fly in. Could you imagine like flight to nah, Philly? That's, a, that's the airline that was in Soul Plane. Oh, oh okay. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, that's toxic too. Like, what feelings <laughs> are you in? You are you okay? You okay, yeah. fam? <laughs> like, just want to make who sure you made you? it. You know, who hurt you? Are you okay? Like, we could talk about it. You home now, so you know. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all. It's community coalition show. Man. Hey, wasn't David Two K? Yendi, the squad is here. Everybody here, yeah, gang, gang. We're gonna start the year off. Happy right? New Year, y'all. Yeah, Happy yeah. You know, we ain't get. I, I hate. This is why. I hate asking people how was your how was your holiday and all that. Like. <sighs> I slept for my new year, which means I'm gonna be sleeping all year. Mm, I'm with it. it. I like nap times. Get your rest. That's how we go set the tone. We set the tone. Yep. <laughs> oh, goodness. Like, this is the time of year. This is all the memes. Like, the <laughs> new first year, new me. Yeah, the first couple ones are cool. They You laugh, right? <laughs> but then they just don't stop coming. Like, today. Hey, hey, and they're all the funny. New Year's with an yeah. S at the end. I'm tired yes. of it. New Year's. Oh, goodness. That's Nissan Ultima activity. Like, <laughs> oh, not the <laughs> Nissan Ultima. Like, yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. No. I, don't, I got some friends who drive Ultima too. I'm sorry. I love y'all, you know. You know. It's the baby mama oh, car, they say. Yeah. I mean, I almost bought one one time years ago, but I mean, you a baby I mama. guess you dodged the book. I guess you dodged the bullet. It ain't have shoulder room. That's all I'm going to say. It, it just wasn't big enough, you know. So you went with a charger? <laughs> yeah, look, I, I can at least turn around and the charger turn much. I could go over my shoulder, look back, you know. Uh, charger yeah. is nice. I can't say I can't say nothing because the charger is my dream car. So hi, that makes sense why you were attracted to that charger. <laughs> you gonna call me out like that? <laughs> I'm messing with you. <laughs> look. <laughs> we, okay. right. we oh we are starting 2022 we off, definitely right? are we definitely are um like i said i mean <laughs> you know like uh, okay i don't even know what to say to that but yeah okay so we here y'all let's this into it so we all back everybody had a good time um yep. oh sorry i didn't say uh so i went to i went uh i was out of town and with family with cousins family. i can't i can't <laughs> I know y'all are not trying to. Yeah, you, you know what no, I'm saying? Not for, not for, not for see, this pod. Not for this pod. See, not for this sounds, episode. That sounds real. Um, suspect. Oh, that sounds all, suspect, all, I'll, man. Yeah. all I'll say is that I went to the south. Cool. That's it. Time. You know what oh. I'm saying? <laughs> we had to go do a beat up. <laughs> a link. <laughs> That's what y'all say. We go link. Official sneaky link. No, oh, that, that, that was the sneakiest. I know y'all not putting this on me. <laughs> That's why he came back so happy. Look at it. Look at it. That's the basement link. <laughs> oh, not the basement link. Oh. No comment. Uh, any other questions will be referred to my lawyer. Honestly, I thought she was in California, to be honest with you. I thought I had so no too idea at first. I, I thought that it, yeah. he was not in California. I, I just naturally assumed he went back to California. Right. You know, Man. If I, <laughs> I might not be here with you right now. Then I, I was went. like, then I then I was talking to him like, oh, detour. Oh, okay. No, nah, he stayed there. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Living his best. Like he closed out 2021. Yeah. 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 Some of us closed out 2021 in bed. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Some of us closed out 2021. <laughs> You right. Catching flights. Catching flights. Yeah. No feelings. No, no feelings. No feelings. Just no feelings. Be good. 
Um, so we just messing with you, Dave. Yeah, but it's all good though. No, um, I love y'all. Next time, you know, <laughs> I'm just all I'm gonna say is, you know, for safety reasons. Mm-hmm. Next time, just you know, send an addy or something. Just let people know where you are, right? Because it's risky out here, dog. I don't want you to end up right. in a situation, you know, right? You out of town, you don't know what's going on, and you don't mm-hmm. want you to set up or nothing, you know, right? I just want you to be like, safe. I, like I said, I got I a lawyer, know, so so you don't have to tell me where you went. But did you mm-hmm. go alone? No, I was with family. Oh, again, family. Yeah. <laughs> like, are we, is it like family family or like aunties you know we call them aunties they not oh, really aunties oh you with the aunties though mm. <laughs> hold up hold up we're not going auntie in them <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> we're not putting this on me right now as long as you were safe that's, really that's all, all that matters yo i don't need to know details though. one first off i'm always safe mm. Se- second off no, he said he there used, were no there were no aunties on this. He trip. said he used protection. He always saved. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Y'all really. Okay. <laughs> you know we go have fun with you, dog. We miss you, dog. It's all good. I love. <laughs> I missed y'all too, though. Oh man, I forgot we were gonna talk about. Oh, we gotta get into this BS. Right. Um. So let, let, let's get into the BS. You know, it wouldn't be community coalition show if we didn't have some. Um, so let's let's start this off. I I I, I think Ooh, I think I I think I know the perfect way to start this. What you got? If you are listening to this, if you are listening to this podcast, and I, you know what, I'm gonna generalize. I'm gonna generalize us. Okay, you are probably not a doctor. Probably not. You are not probably. But you, you know what? I mean, like, failed a science class in high um, school. I mean, in chemistry. That's important. It chemistry, is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, chemistry is science. I know. Yeah. I was just saying. I just wanted to big up chem- yeah. chemistry. Chemistry, <laughs> chemistry is important anyway. Yeah. Matter of fact. So let, let's start there. Also, social studies. You definitely failed social studies because yeah. for this topic, social well, studies is a big important role in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you know what? Okay. A couple things here. I think our listeners are probably pretty good. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna shoot y'all some bail. The people this is intended for, here we are. So science, we know, yeah, you probably got a D at least in science, right? You probably still passing. Yeah, it passed, but you you know, you were struggling. We got like a you know, like a 59.9, they ground the joint up. Um right. but the teacher felt so bad, just, so they bumped you up. Yeah, you definitely struggled in social studies. No, you failed social studies. Yeah, you studies. failed social studies. Miserably. Yeah. You ain't even passed the, the little special test the teacher gave or extra credit. Damn, you couldn't even get that. Yeah. Um, I know in Maryland, we also had a class called NSL government, national, state, local government, right? That was yeah. like a um, in our school, that was like a specialty class. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which means, damn, which means they definitely failed that or probably didn't even take it. <laughs> Yeah. But we, real, but I mean, real, all of that uh, stuff we learned, quick, we were like in elementary school. <laughs> yeah. Real quick. I didn't know that uh, government was so here in Maryland or where I went to, yeah, where I went to, where I went to school in California, government was a senior class. It's it's 10th grade here. Here. It's sophomore year. Yeah. So what did y'all learn in elementary school? Um, we learned, states, we, 50 states so, and stuff. So oh. fourth grade, you learn about California fifth grade you learn about uh the whole country then you do that project where you pick a state and then you do a report on it uh see see how you remember that's like this podcast this podcast not for you david it's not even for you (laughs) (laughs) you know too much already Bro. That's wild because in in elementary school and middle school we learned about the different branches of government. Mm, I didn't. And we like had to that. memorize a lot of that stuff. We even went to Washington D.C. for a field trip. Wow! Mm. See, I don't remember elementary school here. I do remember like they they give you bits and pieces. Like they started off here. I remember like right. fourth fifth grade. You started learning the geography of stuff where mm-hmm. you were the state, like Maryland, like you said, the state. Then by the time you get like the fifth grade, I think it was, you start learning the 50 states, the capitals. And remember, that was a big deal to take this test. You had to take the test on the map and we had to place all the all the places on the map and then the capitals Mm -hmm. and stuff and all that stuff. I do remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I ain't feel none of that. I got perfects on everything. 
Oh, I'm looking too. Nerd. Yeah, straight right. up. <laughs> Fucking well, you right. know, I think I think we were advanced because I grew up in Jersey, okay? Yeah. That's yeah. that Jersey education. Yeah, that Jersey, because y- 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 y'all had to learn how to tote and all that too. So Shut up. <laughs> y'all had to learn. no y'all comment. No I learned how to carry that pack. You know what I'm saying? That was that was. You like, know yeah. what? You, you know. know I know this play. Mm. <laughs> Yo, this seems dumb. This tea is bomb. I know. The first of all, that cup is real. Was that floral? Yes. Yeah. I think a Mother's Day cup. It, it is it, still electric. This this is indeed my mother's cup. Because every man has done that. Because how many men walk around with their own mug, their coffee mug and stuff like? Right. Like so, I use my I use my actual mug like for stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like I got I got water in mine right now. Like this man but, and hit up Target and bought like fifteen mugs to make. Not, what's good? You having so, a party? You want me to sing y'all some? Mm, yes, mean, yes. Yeah, we had to sit. You know what? Okay. Um. So yeah. So going back to topic, right? Because we, we'll do we'll do this all night. <laughs> so we already know the people we got to talk to on this one, y'all. So just just a disclaimer. If if you know anything about science, you know anything about social studies and government, you, you could probably stop right here for real. You know, just you good. For those of you, for you, and if you and if you had to think about it, this podcast is for you. Okay, so here's where we, yeah, just just tonight. Yo, <laughs> maybe everyone know. Go back and listen to the old ones too, because yeah, you probably need this. Um, so did we offend you? I don't care. But this one is definitely important because I think that people are lost. Yes. Okay. Yes. And they need to be found. So let's try, y'all. Let's we're gonna give it our best try. Mm-hmm. Where do we want to start with this one? All right, let's start with how about uh, the 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 tax laws? Because that's important because that is what what I saw sparked the whole thing about why people hate our president mm-hmm. is because of the tax laws. Let's start there. What happened okay. there? Let's go. Oh, I thought, oh I thought you was going. I thought you was going to keep going. <laughs> well, well, you y'all saw the, the new tax laws where it's like um, drug dealers and stuff now have to claim what they earn. And if you have stolen property, you have yes. to claim that on your taxes if you did not give that back. And so people yes. were like, y'all see what Joe Biden did? Y'all see what Joe Biden did? But I think we need to remind people just how powerful the president is not. Yes, right. We also, all know who's in power. Right. You know what? Okay, you know what? Let me. I'm going and back. Hold on. Hold on. Also, why are you snitching on yourself? But before we get too deep, I want to pull this up. Let me read this. Okay. <laughs> Let's get it. So, I don't. I, shoot. Okay. Reference is terrible. I'm sorry. This was something that was pulled. I don't know where exactly it was pulled from, but what we're reading from. Um talking about the tax laws and there was a highlighted point someone posted on instagram this i guess was where it came from but they were highlighting some of the um the tax laws that may have changed and stuff like that right for mm-hmm. the coming year they do this all every year things change say, all the time well when did they change that because i was trying to see when that law was actually uh put in there because i i i feel like well, i thought it was there for a while but I'm thinking it was just something that they just updated because they're making such a big deal out of it now. Well, I think this is something that's been there because I went back. So what it, what the law, the root of the law is talking about that you have to report income from self-employment. Oh, this was the um, this was that whole thing with OnlyFans that happened. Well, that part too. Or so there was part a couple, of, yeah. part of it. So there's a couple things that came about from this. One, I think like a lot of that OnlyFans stuff was started really last year. Um, to a lot of the um, unemployment stuff that happened last year. Mm -hmm. Um, Self-income, you know, there's a whole thing. If you file taxes, you're supposed supposed to report all the income you earn, no matter where it comes from. So like cash stuff, you're supposed to, you know, wages from jobs, all that stuff, your tips and stuff like that, you know? That's the rule, y'all. You're supposed to report this. So in this document... They had to highlight some things. So I'm going to read this. This is not me. This is what's written. Income from illegal activities, such as money from dealing illegal drugs, must be included in your income on Schedule 1, Form 1040. 
government line A Z or Schedule C ten forty. If you're from your self employment activity, mm. that's what's written. So, some person, and I'm not going to point out their IG. This is the comment they wrote. This is why they posted. They said, "President Biden, are you really this goofy?" Mm. Yes, that's what I saw too, and it meant. And you can't, and I, I believe it's the one that I sent you. Yes. Honestly, yeah. you can't debate that person on nothing because he swear he knew everything because he was in the military. But to be honest with you, if you were in the military, then you would know how the system works, which right. he does not. So, <laughs> so here can we go. We, go can ahead. we talk about something real quick? This, I remember this being, t- or actually, no, go ahead first because you got to explain. Okay. It. So now I just want to say this. One, this doesn't come from President Biden. (sighs) Let's talk about government for a second. One, okay, for people who don't know, there are many branches of the government, right? There's a lot of different departments, you know, well, Mm -hmm. three branches, you know, but in those branches, there's different departments, just Mm -hmm. like a business where there's different departments and there's different structures for everything. Now, the structure in the department that handles the the money and reporting of income and taxes and stuff, it's called the Internal Revenue Service, right? Also known by most people as the IRS, right? The IRS. Yep, what happens for a lot of these things is this the regulation, it's the accountability on everything, like I said, trying to figure out where the income is coming in from, who's doing what and things like that. Does mm-hmm. it seem like a lot sometimes? Yes. Does it seem like sentient sometimes to some people? Yes, I get all that. I hear what y'all say. Mm-hmm. But it needs to be done. So when I read things like this, they didn't put this in there for any old reason. This is not new. There's language put in a lot of these laws to trip your dumb ass up just in case you get caught. Also, mm-hmm. for lawyers. Because I'm gonna tell you what happens. Dude gets locked. I'm gonna tell you, I, I can I can pretty sure I'm pretty sure how the first drug case ever went. I could probably I could probably tell you how it went. Dude was selling drugs. Dude he went was, to jail. He went he got locked up. He went to jail. You know what his lawyer probably said? He didn't know he could do that. Oh dang, we ain't never say they couldn't really do that. So what do you do? We make a law. So now we make a law that says, hey, you can't sell drugs. So the second dude that gets caught, hey. See this law right here, dog? We already got you, fam. We told you you couldn't do this, so now you can't do it. Why not? So when they put in language like this, it's to let you know we got the language in place just in case we catch you, stupid. Mm -hmm. The law's already in place to catch you. So when we catch you, we got it on the books. It's documented. We got something for you. So illegal activities. Like I said, they just put such as money from dealing illegal drugs. Because what used to happen with a lot of this stuff, they drug, they, they moved their money around. Smart ones did, you know? Money laundering. Mm-hmm. Laundering. They put it in other things. We watched Scarface. We seen all the stupidness. Say hello to my little friend. So when they investigate you and they figure out how you did it, oh, okay. We got the law for it, dog. This is nothing new, y'all. Trust me. If it's in 1040, because what happens is, and and like I said, we're talking about illegal drugs, but there's a lot of illegal stuff that people are doing now that's kind of new. Right. So when you don't report income, like I said, maybe things like OnlyFans stuff, because that's income you're supposed to report. Right. People made a lot of money off of it. You think the IRS, you think the government wasn't going to get their cut? (laughs) Really? Just like a couple months ago, we had the conversation about Cash App. Right. And Cash I, got, I got a lot of those um, today and how everybody mm. is buying because of putting tax, tax laws on Cash App and Zelle. But can we not talk right. about how this started before his presidency? Mm. Again. And again, this wasn't about Joe Biden didn't sit there and sign off on all these things. They came wow. from the, the various departments and systems in place. I like how you compared this to like a business because I think the problem is people think that the president is the CEO 
of the company. And he's not. He's just middle management. Right. I mean, and in a lot of that's terms, a good way to, that's a good way to. In a lot of terms, that. yeah, he he's he's uh, he's one of the guys. The most people, the people who have the most power is Congress. Congress, Congress holds yeah. the most power. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the judicial right. stuff because you still got to enforce. You still got like write this stuff out. Right. So like like I said, this ain't come from him, y'all. You think he's sitting around writing these laws? That, hey, I think they should. This is why. <sighs> The federal government employs so many people. This is the little stuff they do. Right. Because what happens, especially when it comes to the money, there is a financial problem. You think, how do you think they pay for this stuff, y'all? When we talk about paying taxes and stuff like that, where do you think they're getting the money from? They're getting it from us. Yeah. Yes. Do they shake us down? Yeah, we get the shakedown. But how do you think they actually logistically do the shakedown? They come, they come after and things like this. So now run in the last them, run them taxes play run them taxes fam. So what happened a couple of years ago? Like I said, when OnlyFans and stuff started, people was finding ways to get money. Mm-hmm. The pandemic, because think what happened, y'all. A lot of people quit their jobs. Right. Mm-hmm. Poor got fired. They got fired. They quit their job. Pandemic happened, right? So now we know it's a prop money problem. The government's trying to get this money. That's why you say that they try to get everybody back to work. Hey, get this economy back going. Get this money back going again. But a lot of people didn't go back to work. Yeah. So what's the first question? Why? Why didn't go back to work? Oh, because they started doing their own thing. Oh, we oh, got something for y'all. They're doing their own thing now, so they get money somewhere else. Oh, we got something for y'all. How does the government get that money from where you're doing now? Because you're not coming to work, so you're not paying that tax on the job and stuff like that. You over there? Oh, we coming over there too. We're burning down Wall Street. So yeah. So, <laughs> oh but do you think they're gonna let that happen? Um, no. So so what do they do? It's just like anything else. Oh, we're gonna set up shop over there where y'all at now. Oh, y'all getting y'all getting side money. Y'all starting y'all little small business and stuff like that. Oh, oh no. y'all do y'all doing transactions on Cash App. Oh, we can't. We ain't really regulate that. What happens till oh, now? <laughs> that law out. Anything over was it six hundred dollars, something like that. Yeah. Anything mm-hmm. over six hundred, we get that too. Nah, you thought you were slick. You thought you were gonna get money without us. Mm. Nah, son, we got you. We we see what's happening now. Right. This is oh, one of those. Also, moments. as a result, my my beats now are five fifty. Because you got yeah, account for that. But right. what they did was they made they they they're coming where you are. This is this, what I've read is no different than that. You know, oh, we, we got to get this money. We coming up short. So we're going to shake you down. We're going to find new ways to shake you down over there where you at. Right. That small business, got you. Oh, you got that OnlyFans? Dang, how much you make? Hey, we need that too. Mm-hmm. Thought you was going to get money without us? No, nah, son. That's how government works. Right. This has nothing to do with the president of the United States. This was going to happen whoever the president was. Right. That's how this goes, y'all. We got to get out of this whole, like, the president does this and that. You know, um, the president's almost a figurehead. For another thing, too. Yeah. Yeah. This is why they appoint cabinet members, department chairs, all these, these heads, you know, like, they handle this stuff. Mm-hmm. But as a people, we get so caught up on the president of the United States. And you know yeah. what? So crazy. That's where that schoolhouse rock come in. Well, I'm just mm-hmm. a bill because people yes. forget about that. And at the end of the day, the president can pass all of these laws. But Congress has to be the ones to say yay or nay. And if yeah. Congress says nay, y'all get mad at the president and it's not even him. That's why so, it's important to vote. Right. Prime Not example of that. Election. Let's let's go to a prime example of what you just said. The Obama administration. President Obama, Democrat. The Congress was majority Republican. Republican. Mm-hmm. Remember so, what they said? Oh, while you're in office, you ain't gonna do. We ain't, ain't giving you nothing. Look how Mitch you ain't doing shit. Yes. No, he literally said that. Yes. They they, they pretty much came. Yeah. So. President Biden trying to get stuff passed, trying to get laws passed. They coming up with ideas and all this stuff. Right. Nah, fam, we don't rock with you. Congress was like, nah, we don't rock with you. Mm-hmm. You know how 
You know how hard it was to get them the affordable. Remember, remember Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. Right. Mm-hmm. Remember how hard it was to get that through. Yep. It took That's so much. But it's, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut no, you off. I was gonna say that's why they like Trump so much because Trump is a yes sir. You're not gonna try he's to a, fight Congress on that. He's thing. a yes man. Where you yeah. have people like Obama who tried to fight Congress and people like Obama. Obama, how about to call him Obiden or Byron? <laughs> <laughs> no, can we? Thank you, but, but um, <laughs> people like Biden, they are trying to fight, and, and they don't like that. But see, I'm not, I'm not really political, but it, it does make me mad to hear people say, especially black people, "Oh, I'm never voting for Biden again." But we complain about so much. But what are we doing? Like, that's the question. What, what do we? We're not accounting for the future. That's what we're doing. We're not. I mean, we're not we're so holding people. But but not even account for the future and all that stuff. But what are we doing to help our future? Well, right. well, let's let's back up with that. Let's back up with this too, as we're talking about like knowing who does what around here. Also, that because here's a big problem. Here's what happened. Right, we saw the, even saw this with the whole student loan thing a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. The administration came out and said, you know, no, we're not going to default the student loans. What happened? Black people got mad. The Biden, you did this to us. Let me say this. Would I like my student loans deferred and taken and gone away forever? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Shine me up. But that's not how business works. They said they're going to get their money. We're talking about how much money sitting on the table? It's billions it's, of dollars. It's in the billions. Mm-hmm. It's in the billions. Black people. It's literally like owning oh owning yes. the mall. <laughs> black black people. Black people. Let me say this. And, and I'm with you on this. Yes, I would like my bills gone. Do you think an entity is going to let billions of dollars just slide? Think about that real. Think about that for real. Like, think about that. Y'all don't let nobody slide for $20. Or a dollar. But you think they're going to let billions of dollars just slide. And you got education on the deal. You got something. As much as I would love for that to happen, I'm sorry. I don't think that was ever really realistic. That's why they mm. that's why they're gonna cut. Um, that's why California's gonna go float out to sea because California is trying to separate itself from <laughs> the rest of the country. Seriously, because they want too. They hey. want they want people to go to college in California well, for free and not well, have Yes, because think about it. But then think about like that's why we have public institutions and private institutions. Public institutions. Do y'all people? Do y'all know what those are? Public institutions are the ones that are mostly fund. Not all mostly funded by our governments, our state, our local governments. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, when you go to like University of Maryland, University of Maryland system, whatever it is. A lot of their funding comes from state funds, right? Right. Then you have private institutions. Mm-hmm. I went to one. Yeah, like like Howard University, HBC, mm-hmm. like you know, mm-hmm. some college. Yeah. So oh, Academy of Our University. Colleges are also businesses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's let's keep let's, 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 let's keep it a thousand. Do you think they're in place because they really want to educate you, and that's all they about? How do you think this works? Hey. You want to come to college here? Give me money. You want to right. come here? You want to come get this education? We have to pay for this somehow. Where do you think this land, these buildings, all these teachers running around, all this stuff that's going on? Where do you, how do you think that works? I think the Art Institute was a great example of that. Ooh, and, absolutely. And they profit so much off of people who didn't want to go to like traditional universities and stuff. And they up their their uh tuition, tuition. To like ninety thousand dollars a year and it was not an accredited college and you think of how much money i i was a victim of a scam how much money we wasted going to that school and you can't even take that degree anywhere and then you gotta turn around and pay more money to go to school just to get a degree that can actually get you somewhere it's crazy uh, think about this too okay this school calls let's say that i don't know i'm thought a number Let's say a school costs thirty thousand dollars a year. Right. We're we're selling this to 
kids who are 18, 19, 20, 21 years old, right? Mm-hmm. With no credit history, no money. Who pays for that? Let's now let's talk about that. So we already know it's crazy expensive, right? But now let's talk about how predatory it is. Mm-hmm. Damn, I ain't got that 30. I ain't got that right now. 30 a year. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. We got, we got, we got. You need, what's up, bro? You need a loan? You need a loan? You need, I got you, fam. I got you. Don't worry about it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. How much how much more do you need? How much you need more? You, we'll give yo, you any yo, loan. Yo, 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 yo. I got I got you, right? I got you. But it's a cap though. Like you can't too that's true. far. But that's the thing. But I mean, like, but think about this. It's a lot easier to get a loan for school. I can't get no whip. I can't get no house. I can, back in the day, I couldn't even get a cell phone with bad credit. Mm. But I can get a, I can go to school. But there's a catch. Oh, by the way, you gotta pay that. You gotta back. pay that back. You gotta pay it back one oh, in a timely they fashion. Can your wages. Or and if you don't, or but take no your tax money. But all that, yeah. So we that's but. You got to pay interest on this too. Hey, Kenny. Uh, if I'm 18, if I'm only 18 and I'm just going to college and they gave me loans and I have to pay them back eventually, will I have to pay them the, the amount that I took out? Or what's up with that? Nah, fam. Only the, um, no, only so, the amount I took out, right? No, no, of course not. Because we got to make money off you, son. You know what's crazy? Is is that our parents go on that loan too? But they not even held responsible for that. We are no, nah, because they 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 shift that real quick. Right. They sure do. Because again, or how many? I, I couldn't. I couldn't do that with my peoples. My parents couldn't. I signed myself. I signed right. myself. My loans are mine. Mm-hmm. Off rip. So you know what that means? Higher interest rate. Mm. Damn. Well, you know, you ain't got no credit. Your credit job jacked already. We're going to give you this loan, but we got to raise the rate up a little bit because we don't know if you're going to be able to handle it later. We don't know. That's how they get you. So let's take that $30,000 loan. One, that's a year. So let's say let's say you went to school for four years. Let's do some math. Mm. Let's do some math, right? Yeah. What's 30 that's, times four? That's 120. $120,000 on loan. But dang, that's just a loan, right? I don't know. Let's say you ain't got no bad credit. I don't know. I'm going to be generous. Mm. I'm going to be real generous and say your interest rate is 15%. Let's just say, let's just say, let's just say times 0.15. We're talking about another, what, almost 20 stacks? Maybe 20 stacks on that. Maybe a little bit more, depending on what happens. Yeah. Most people don't stay in school for years. Year. They probably do five now. Right. Or six. Yeah. But we got that. That's how we make money off you. That's how these businesses make money. So now you want to hook for all this. Do you really think they was just going to let that slide? And if they let it slide, they not just gonna let it. They can't just let it slide for you. That means they have to let it slide forever, for everybody. What business model sustains that? I'm sorry, it just don't work like that. Because they can't make you. They can't default your loans. What you gonna tell that that 17 year old that's about to go to college now? Ooh, sorry, you can't. Ooh, hey, you know my, what they, my, my, you know my, what they my dad was free though. My dad's you know, was free. You know what they uh, should say. Oh, we can't give you money for school. But hey, if you want to start a business, that, I mean. But, but again, we, how are they going to make money off you? I think, I think we forget everything in this country is driven around making money. Right. It's not about more, what's morally right. It's not about what we should do, what we think is best for people. This mm-hmm. country, and I don't agree with it, but this country is set up to make money. Yeah, sadly. That's what this is about, y'all. This country is a business. It is a business. Everything we do, from our health care to our education to the backs of the employees and the workers, is about making money off you. With you doing it, 
If you're doing it, we're going to tax you. We're going to make money off you. It's ghetto. That's what this is. So this is this goes way before the president of the United States. And it's going to go after. Right. So when we put things on Biden, I'm trying to bring this conversation back full circle. To, to see some of this stuff, it really sounds ignorant. Yeah. And it sounds irresponsible in the backs of us. And the problem is I don't like it because what happens is we start playing victim. Mm-hmm. Or we don't vote. <laughs> or, and and that these are the results of what happens when we play victim. We don't participate. We don't vote. Why? Because you think these, yes, yes, it is evil. Yes, it is evil. But I think if we if we put some effort into educating ourselves into some of this stuff, we understood why it's happening, mm-hmm. we would put ourselves in better positions right. to deal Georgia with it. Is a great example. You said what? Georgia is a great example. Yeah, Let absolutely. Look what they did to Georgia. It turned Georgia blue. Yeah. And they were educated on what they were like on the topics and everything that was being voted on. And they still and they fight so hard to try to get it back. They are. You think they want them to stay blue? Who? No, just like they fought hard in Virginia. Yeah. Ooh, they hate that. Don't even get me started on Virginia. Because I know, but because <laughs> what happens is that means that it may not sound like everything y'all and y'all know, but it's what happens is these are the beginning steps of progress. Right. They're vulnerable. We have to start somewhere. And look at look at Georgia, where we have black leadership in place that was making that happen. Mm-hmm. You know, like was really boots on the ground trying to make it happen. Absolutely. And so that's what I'm saying. So like when we when we go through this stuff, it really sounds we we look ignorant. That's why I'm looking at this statement. I don't know this person, but to say, are you really this goofy? No, son. Are you really this goofy for believing all this? Mm. Like we look goofy. That person is ignorant. We look wow. ignorant when you make comments like that. Yeah. Because you do you really think you hurt their feelings? No, they sitting back laughing. Get run that check though. Run run them taxes though. That's what they want because they know that when we vote, we make change. So yeah. they if we continue to believe this illusion that Biden sucks basically mm-hmm. and he's not doing anything, then they know we're not gonna vote. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they don't even have to fight. They don't even have to combat it. We we do it ourselves. All right. We do it ourselves. They don't have to do all that to, to come after and, and and either get our vote or not get our vote. We 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 do it. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm saying. And even outside of voting, participating and educating ourselves in these systems. Right. You know, I see this. I see. So I see this now. This is this is a tax thing, right? Like I said, I saw this with the education and the student loan thing. Right. I also see a lot of it in the housing market and stuff like that. I see a lot of it in business. Like I said, we having that conversation of like small stuff, like the cash app, the only fans, people are outraged. Oh, people are only fans. How are they going to do this to us? Fam, do you really think you was going to be getting money under the table and y'all getting big money over there and nobody was going to regulate it? All did you good really think, must come to an end. Yeah, but did you, like, no one really thought about, like, no one thinks about, it's all good when you get money. Right. It's all good when everybody's on top. Mm-hmm. But that's not how this country works. Big boy's going to come. The bully's going to come get their bread. Yeah. You know? And so the thing that, like, you're appalled because they're doing stuff like that, but it just seems it seems because you don't understand how this works. And I know a lot of people don't understand how this works. And that's why I know even though we make it fun of people, we're still trying to educate you on this stuff, too. Right. And it doesn't make sense that we're making fun of people because if I... If I say that, uh, if I say something stupid and Kenny corrects me on that, I have to eat that because I didn't know. I would say, hey, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. Or, hey, thank you for educating me on that, on whatever. But we have people out here that are calling people stupid. We have stupid people calling people stupid. Yeah, yeah. And that's part of the cycle. Mm -hmm. And that's how we keep this stuff going. They, I mean, they've done a great job of setting it up for us to fail. Right. But we're also doing as equally a good job of keeping us down too. Right. It's literally the domino effect. Yeah. Like they, that's the systems are in place and we, and they get a lot of blame for that. 
But damn it, we we doing it to each other just as bad, y'all. All right. I'm glad you brought that up because that also brings us to our um, next point that we was trying to make. Look at you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Segway King. Train. Segway, <laughs> get him. <laughs> and, and, and like you were saying, now, because now we keep each other down in so many different ways. Right. Mm-hmm. So like I said, now let's shift out of the whole we, we got we got the school part out. Hopefully you got your government, you got your social studies, you got your science. We didn't really right. get to the science, but we talk about the pandemic and all that stuff, too. That covers that. Right. Right. Because y'all do it there, too. Mm-hmm. But we do this in our social aspects of life as well. Right. And that's part of how we keep each other down. <sighs> I'm, I'm Ooh, gonna a, I got I'm, you. I got you. But what's the first thing? black people do when they come into a when they move to a new neighborhood good question I mean, for black people when i move and then said, when i see them i always be looking for black people and then when i see exactly. other black people i gotta shout like hey black people gotta be right. so hyped i'm not the only one there right <laughs> and i feel like that's going away well let's because let's it's like divided because there are some who are still trying to hold on to that right and then there's some who don't like i have friends this goes to them taking teaching black history out of the school there right. are some black people who are all for it because they don't want this is just from what i've heard in my circle they don't mm-hmm. want other they don't want to look at their white friends like oh look what y'all did to us but why would you want them to stop teaching our history? We barely, I mean, they only really talk about so much. Like when I right. went to school, they only talked about slavery. That was it. I had a right. white teacher who went a little deeper, but they only really talk about slavery. That's all we have. And I mean, I know that we are all supposed to educate our children anyway, but why, mm-hmm. why are we divided on that out of everything? Right. Why are we divided on erasing our history? I design. And also to the people who want Black history taken out of school, don't go to the museum because I can't get to the museum because the line be mad along with all the white people. But yet y'all don't want them to teach Black history anymore. Don't go to the museum no more. Let well, me get I it. Mean, get, okay, <laughs> guess what's guess what's in the museum? Stolen history. Well, I mean, let's go back into this too. So like before we jump into that one, why don't you think they want to teach Black history? Because they know that if they actually if they're if they portray uh black history correctly then they'll realize that like yo wait hold on a black person did this a black person did this why are why are we so why why are they so discriminated against on both sides right let's Mm -hmm. talk about the black side one control of information ignorance is bliss right if mm-hmm. you don't know your history, you don't know the great things about who you are. Right. You don't the know great how things you... people did. But well, that's what I'm saying. Your history, all that mm-hmm. stuff that comes along. You don't know the, the unification, everything that come along with the positive stuff. Mm-hmm. We can keep you divided. We can keep you ignorant. We can keep you down. We keep you stupid. All right. you no, know, there's there's power in the control of information. We know that that's been in place forever. Mm-hmm. But let's talk about from the white side, too. What's one thing that happened during, you know, after George Floyd, the riots and stuff like that? What was the one thing we really saw a lot of? Unity. With who? Not just Mm. us. Yeah. There was a lot of young white kids that was standing there, too. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. There's a lot of young white kids that was questioning things, too. Right. They started to ask. They started to ask, why did this happen? Why? What are we doing? Why are we treating people this way? I have a lot of friends who will start to ask questions. My friends, my age. So why? Why do they really shoot them? Right. Why? Why do we? Why, what is red line? People ask me like red line. It really. Exists. They didn't know either. Hmm. Because why? What are they taught in school? That everything white was great. It's gravy. We right. doing our thing. But it wasn't. But again, the perception of slavery and stuff in schools, that happened. It was bad. But we moved past that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? And it's, everything is hunky-dory now. It should be okay. 
it, it reminds me of uh, the show I was watching where it's kind of like what you said, like we moved past that because it was a bunch of black women in Mississippi, some show that come on own. They were talking about racism and how they're still experiencing racism today. And the white girl that's in the circle, she was like in denial because she was like, that happened during slavery. Like, we don't do that anymore, but it still exists and it's still happening. Because they don't see it. That's not the world they see. That's not their lens, their perception. They right. th- they look the at it. They live in. Yeah, they think it's cool. They, like I said, they thought that was, okay, we did slavery. That happened. It's It's in the past now. But no. So as they become more educated, a lot of them begin to question stuff. So now if we can suppress black history from everyone. They'll never know the full extent of what they did. And we keep them in their place. White people continue to think that everything is good and great and they don't question the bad stuff that's happening. Mm -hmm. Black people continue to stay down and we stay ignorant, we stay divided and we stay in the place they want us to be in. Right. Mm-hmm. Again, two sides to that. So that that's a that's been a very important that talking about critical race theory. Right. Why do you think that is such a big push? Again, they don't want anyone to learn this stuff. Right. That's the suppression of information. That's what happens in third world dictatorship countries. That's what happens in North Korea. We're going to tell you exactly what you want to know. And the censorship of media and all that stuff. That's no, we control everything that you see. Right. You say something different, you question something different, we killing you over here. Right. Like that's what happens in those countries. That's what they're pretty much trying to do here. It's like you know, when they, they put out a petition some years ago, I think it was in 2016, to get rid of black history because basically white kids should not be forced to learn how great black people really are because it makes white kids feel like they're they feel nothing. exactly so imagine right. so how also, sick of that spit but also why do i have to learn about white history all the time you I know why every day. no you know why this is exactly I, why no we know why because they want us to think they're great too because the more I, you prop themselves up they look superior they want us to think that they're superior too but the, here's the sad thing we're superior we but they are. don't want to. Here's the thing. This I find this so stupid, and I just realized it. They're great. We're trying to be just as great. But are we trying? Because well, I feel like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're. I'm sorry. Uh, like we're trying to be great, and as we get to great, they say these people are becoming. They're almost as great as we are. No, we can't. We're not. We're not doing that. You know why, so, David? You know why? You're you're thinking from a moral standpoint. Trying think, to think about what happens with with conquerors. Mm. It's the conquerors we're talking about here. The whole goal is to stay in power. What's one of the first rules of staying in power? You can't let anyone else have it. Right. So if you got if you got an uprising. And you got people thinking that, hey, they coming up in the world. Ooh, that's a threat to the power. It's a revolution. Exactly. And it's a threat to the power. We can't have that. We got to keep them down. Now, right. go back to what I said earlier about the money in this country. Money flows different when y'all down. Why? Because now you stay in a lower class system. You got to work the low jobs. You got to pour into the economy. You work for me. I make the money. That's how they look at this stuff. It all right. comes back. There's That's why there are plans. There are systems. There's a whole things in place. And that, that's why we're seeing it pour out to the educational system now. Right. The, the public display of why they don't want these things taught. This is part of the big picture to keep the power and the money going for them. Mm-hmm. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Well, I was I was trying to figure out like you ever wonder what happened. Well, what, what would have happened if things went in a different direction? Meaning, if the Native Americans still had control of this country, like how do you think it would be? Do you even think we would be here? Like, do you think Black people would have come here? Like, let's say if slavery never happened, if we was never sold. 
What do you hmm. think would have happened? Like, do you think we would have migrated here from Africa? Do you know? I know I've asked myself this question so many times. Do you, if you really want to know what I think would, would happen? Yeah, I want to know. Literally Wakanda. Because, um, and here's the, here's the reason why. We had all the resources. Yes, but my answer, no. Mm. Because... United States wasn't the only spot for the slave trade. Mm. Africa at that point was already being carved up amongst the European powers. That's true. Yeah. So, okay, let's say we don't end up in America. The slave trade was still the thing at that point in time. Right. I don't think we, I don't think America would be America because you wouldn't have had the land and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But things yeah, continued but- around the rest of the world. But what if the slave trade didn't pop off? Then maybe but, we would have been No, but the thing is, the slave trade pop slavery has been around for thousands Long of years. Minutes. Yeah. It was it's my question is, I mean, without America, it kind of ended a lot of it. Slavery would have been going on way before we got here. It might as still be. It might still be going on today. It oh, is. it is. It is. But you, is. but you know, but you know, we don't. No, I'm talking about like in a worldwide scale. Slavery being a primary source of labor. Ah, uh, okay. I hear what you. Come saying. on, let's, let's let's keep it a buck. Like I said, I'm not saying I agree. I don't like it. But before they really got to Africa, slaves are being transported all over the world from all over parts of the world. Mm-hmm. You know. I think, I mean, like I said, that happened and really slowed it down in a lot of places, you know? So I, I don't have a positive outlook either way, honestly, because the nature of the conquerors. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't. They would have continued to, that, that was their model. That was their model. Collect the territory, get resources, however you can. Keep that, keep that, that flow going. Slaves, the trade. You know, they needed the expansion. Every new territory led to new resources. Mm-hmm. They was on that. All of them were. Right. All of them. Not just Europe, Asia, parts of Africa. Look, let's, let's be real. The Africans not have slaves. Can we not go back to the root to the Bible? Can we not go back? What was Moses? Mm. That's true. We'll talk. So we have slaves within our own ranks, in our own culture. So granted. No, it was the nasty, the dirtiest stuff, but I really feel like they would have found a way to keep it going until a group of people came around. And let's be let's keep it a thousand here too. Slavery didn't end the United States because we wanted it to. That mm. wasn't that wasn't us. Mm. The black people did not rise up in this country and fight back the union and, and say that came with that was a money thing. The Civil War was a money thing. The North was upset. The South was getting big bread. The laws revolved around slavery. Wow. It was a money thing. It was a financial thing. Abraham Lincoln himself even said he was still about slavery. Mm-hmm. I saw that. He even said he, he, he wasn't, it wasn't like he hated slavery and all this stuff. Like, no, they was for this. What they weren't for was that the Southern states had a real advantage off the money they was making how it was how they was getting it. Right. And when new states started coming into the union, as they started expanding west and new states started coming into the union, each state that came into the union, the biggest question was where they're going to be a slave state or not. States like Missouri, states like Texas, all those Tennessee, those places. And then it started to have the bickering and the fighting amongst where they're going to be allowed slavery states. Right. That's where this stuff started. That's how slavery, yeah, like the, 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 the yeah. That's what, again, got to go to school for this. But don't teach us that in school. They sure don't. So when it was really when Texas, like they broke in, like that's where the fight started happening. Yeah. So don't think it was because of us. It was about that money. It's always about that money. It's always about that money. So I appreciate that question, but I'm going to be honest. Man. You know, so um, my but mom again, said the same thing though. She she had the same thought. She was like, I still would have happened. 
I think oh, okay. Yeah, I I can definitely understand that. I think so because they were going car. They was carving up Africa, like I said. Anyway, right. One thing they weren't gonna they weren't gonna let Wakanda happen. Be your own people. <laughs> think about it. Great Britain had their territories. Portugal had their territories in Africa. Spain had their territories. France had their territories in Africa. They all was taking their pieces up of Africa and the resources there. So, no, nah, I'm sorry. Like, they, that's how nasty they are. It's so right. sad. They nastiness is not going to let us come up. Right. I'm sorry. I don't think so. And, and unless we came together as a whole entire continent, and if we had to come together as a continent, we probably would have able to rush them up out of there. You know, but at that point, they was already playing a game. Right. They was putting us against each other, giving one tribe resources to take out the other tribe. You know, they was doing that stuff. They was playing with us. And they're still doing that today. Yeah. I was just about to say that. Look at that, because it was bringing circle back to what we was talking about. It is still happening today, and we are not rising above any of this shit. Oh, because, again, a lot of us, we've been they've been playing the game on us so long, we don't even know the game. A lot of people still blind. They're still in the matrix, y'all. Right. I was just about to... Damn. But... It's, it sucks, though, because... Like, my niece is always asked, like, you know, they're just starting to learn about it. And they wonder, like, why are we hated so much? That's because we are so great. And they know that we are. We're intelligent. Right. We have the power, but we we hinder ourselves. Yeah. And absolutely. And, and, and I think a lot of times we had to go to try to fight back and say no a lot of stuff. And, and, and look at look what they... <laughs> Another history lesson. Let, let me, let me. Anybody do research on Haiti? Mm. Oh, yeah. And, yes, why, and, why, and why Haiti's one of the poorest countries in the world mm-hmm. by design. France why? Basically, took everything. From why? Them. Because the Haitians fought back. The Haitians fought back. I think it's Haiti still. What's one of the territories that had never officially been conquered? No, but it was France got them, but they they fought back and fought for their independence. I think they were the first country, or something like that, in the, in the hemisphere. But Haiti got their own demons going on. Now. But 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 no, but what happened though? Haiti was thriving until the Europeans came, stripped everything. Haitian fought back, and what did they do? They punished them, right? By putting like trade embargoes, mm-hmm. and you couldn't you couldn't do trade with Haiti and stuff like that. So they pretty much forced them out of geopolitics and stuff like that, the trade and all that. Did they kept them their down. Independence day? Just, um... Yeah. So they got their independence, mm-hmm. but they didn't get it. They didn't get anything else with it. So they said, "Oh, you want to be independent? No, we're not going to do business with you. We're not going to trade with you. Nobody else can trade with you either, because we're going to tell our homies don't come over here." Mm. Which kept them poor. I was just going to say, "Boom, you're poor. You're poor, just like that." You not we're not doing trade with you, and my homie's not doing trade with you either. Hmm. You're poor now. So you got your this you got your little independence. Go ahead and take that little independence. Y'all sit, y'all sit there and rot. That's what they did to Haiti. And that's the flip game. Because imagine you got this dealer over here, but he's but you don't want to go, you don't want to pay him. Now he's going broke. We're gonna dry you out. We're gonna bleed you out. That's what they did. So Haiti's a poor country because of that. Right. So it's like they they could have got they could have had their Wakanda. Let's say mm. that. But they mm. didn't they didn't allow them to. They forced that out. They didn't allow them to. So what do you think they would do with everybody else? It's a nasty world, y'all. It is. And I, and I suggest you go look up some of this stuff, do some history on how nasty it is. And I think it'll change your outlook on a lot of these things that happen here. I think it'll also motivate people to try to go get their own. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's another big part of this too. That I figure it out and also stop hating on each other too, which is the third mm-hmm. part of this conversation we got to get to. Right. Why, why do we hate on each other, y'all? I'm going to ask y'all, why? Why do we think this happens? You know what? Classism. Mm. I never actually, I never thought about that classism 
because if I say, oh yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting 10,000, I'm getting 10,000 a month. Look at me. I'm doing well. Then I come across Kenny. I start working for him, but, or I'm in an interview with him and I say, uh, how much do you make a month? He could say, oh, I get 20. <laughs> you only get 10? <laughs> Bro, boy. Yeah. Why is it that? Damn. Why is it that it's we, true. we don't we don't really celebrate the positive things that happen in our culture, the real positive things that happen in our culture, without some negativity attached along with it? Right. And you know, it, you can't say that other race do it too because we're different yeah we are different. no it, it's very different in this country oh my god it's very different mm-hmm. um we can't unify which is another thing by design like to keep us down there's a reason why like that goes back that really goes back to like roots of slavery and stuff yeah separating families and stuff like that like there's there's right. that's the big design but it's that crab in the crabs in the barrel Yep. Yeah, but but that is one thing that we do have some mental control over now, you know, because right. it's it's funny, like, I've seen it both ways. I've seen us celebrate and congratulate people, and in the same breath, we, like, hate, you know? Yeah. Look, like, things can, why are things so polarizing? It's all about um, the race, too, because or, each generation does it. Yeah. After generation, after right. generation. So even okay, so leave like on a larger scale. I say a larger one and a small one. Larger scale. Mm-hmm. Look, look at some of our most famed public figures and entertainers and athletes and stuff. And you'll have a group of people that love them. And you'll have a group of people that equally hate them. Right. For example, LeBron James. <laughs> I, okay, I hate LeBron as an athlete, but I think he's a good person for what he does. Yeah. Same here. Same here. For example, another example, your boy Drake. Uh, I'm Drake. Who hate Drake? Ain't nobody <laughs> hate Drake. Who is hating? <laughs> ain't nobody hate Drake. Oh, but I mean, like you I'm had hard. to go. You had to go there. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. In, I ain't say nothing in front of in front of Yandy. I ain't I'm say nothing. I ain't say nothing. I'm just going. But did that not just prove my point? <laughs> oh, I got a better one, R. Kelly. Ooh. Because what? we are definitely hey. divided, and we all know the type of person he is. And people would be like, "What he does?" But, the, but that music, though, to do with the music, but the music, but that's but that's our people. We always we're so quick. That remind me of the other topic we said we was gonna talk about because I was gonna say we're so quick to sweep the whole pedal thing. Under ooh, the rug. Ooh, I talk about mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because my thing, okay, and I'll be honest. One, it's not my job to judge people. Not mine either. It's not my job to condemn people. And even though people do nasty things, <laughs> I can separate. I don't, I, I mean. But his inspiration for his songs. <laughs> Okay, that so so, so when we go back to art, this is my thing on art. Right. At some point, you have to separate the art from the artist. Absolutely. Because if you don't, we would not have art. And we're human beings at the end of the day, which means we're all flawed, right? Right. But we're not going to acknowledge it. Yeah, but so so why do we single out certain things? To appease, our, to appease ourselves. Mm. So, I mean, because we, we could so, play. I'm this. sorry, Yandy. No, because we could play yeah, that. I mean, fine. like, because what happens is, as a people, we play the game. We pick and choose. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. And I know we, I think we talked about this on Reason to Rhyme, where it's, it's like, like Black Lives Matter, because that's what I feel about Black Lives Matter. Is we pick and choose what we're going to rally behind and what we're not going to rally behind for Black Lives yes, Matter. Yes, we do. Because All think right. about it. We'll condemn R. Kelly. But, but we'll we'll, still we'll we'll listen, but also we'll prop up and congratulate and promote the rapper that killed somebody. Mm. But just because he's a rapper and that's part of his persona, he 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 slides on that. 
they both did horrible things. Mm-hmm. But why do we have a positive image of one and not a positive image of the other? That's true. Now you make me feel like I ain't shit because I'm guilty of that because I swear I, I will listen to the rap song even though the rapper kills somebody. That's a damn shame. <laughs> but I won't forgive the sex offender. And, we, and, and we, we, we promote, we'll listen to the music that talks about killing, robbing, stealing, hoeing, right. raving. I don't give enough about nobody. I don't care. We, right. we champion that. We do. So my thing is, okay, same song. We know we know where the roots of R. Kelly came from, right? We know where the roots of a lot of toxic R&B come from. Mm-hmm. But those same elements are in rap music. They are. Perception. Okay. I think you also think about the audience. We're the audience. Yeah. But I mean, like, well, when you think about it, it's like, you know, a lot of people are now all about now sex offenders and grooming young women. Mm-hmm. So, of course, they're going to be like, oh, why would you support that? But I mean, like, then they're like, oh, but the shoot them up, shoot them up. <laughs> you know, but, maybe but they that, can't really. That's the other that, argument. But that's my thing. How can you, how can you categorize and champion levels of crime? So was shooting a nigga better than raping a woman? A woman? Well, it's like they they was young girls. <laughs> Not all of them. Do we do we promote the minor that shot another minor? No. <laughs> do we promote the rapper that is technically promoting sex trafficking? Mm, hell no. But but we listen. But I'm that's what I'm saying. Like. These right. elements, if you listen to certain rap, them elements are in there. Right. Or, there. or I mean, we got the same R and B singer talking about he he'll shoot you too. Right. They exist what too. What R and B? They exist. Um, if oh, you say actually, Drake, you gonna fight? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I wasn't going. To, actually, now now I can't say any as of recent developments which is what i'll say yeah exactly recent development Alleg- right? Alleg- yeah, but Alleg- I mean, allegedly allegedly me on game what oh but we I'm, can't talk I'm, about it out here we'll talk oh. about yeah but but I'm, that's what i'm saying so like even the fact that we're having this debate they're saying that there's a lot of back and forth there's some great we 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 as people we do this right i was gonna say and we'll the sad thing is that not only do we do it, we'll defend it to the end. To the end. Mm-hmm. People will start fights over this. They got the blows over this. Right. Off off the argument, right? So I mean, like he I get I mean, at least he didn't at least he didn't shoot some child. But does it matter who he shot? That's one thing. You shot. Somebody got shot. The innocent life. Right. That's what I'm saying. So like a rap song about the, it. Tell their victims, tell their families. Mm-hmm. Justify that to somebody's family and see how that go. Well, okay. it's funny you say that because that's a big thing right now on TikTok with that song. And the, I think they're rapping about this young kid named Corbin. Well, they mention him in the song. Oh, like, I missing. heard. I just heard about that. And so, like, you know, people have been like, yo, stop supporting this song because this is somebody's child who died. And then they're just like, eh, it's just a song. It's just a song. It's always just a song. So, again, it's it's so, never so, just a song. So that's my thing. So go back to R. Kelly. Are they just songs? No. Why not? If Corbin got shot and I believe or my mind's telling me, no, are they just songs? No, that nigga was doing shit. Right, <laughs> and, we're, and, and Corbin probably got shot too. But I don't yeah. support. I don't support that song because that is somebody's kid. Corbin. And I right. noticed that as I got older, or okay. I don't, I can't support that music anymore. Okay, so let's right. take it. Let's take it to another step. So now we we got murder, we got rape out the way. But I'm gonna sell twelve keys to the streets. Mm. Everybody know. Everybody will forgive the neighborhood drug dealer who gave back to the community. Why yeah. is that? Why is why is that? We we will support the drug dealer, but we won't support the teacher because what? because it looks because they've made it look like the drug dealer is doing more than the teacher is doing. 
I would go with the teacher because I don't want my child to be from thinking someone, that that's the life that they should live. From someone right. who grew up in that element, we glorify it. But no one talks about that. So we talk about that in our art. You know, we talk about this stuff. Mm-hmm. Some of our, pa- our favorite painters and architects and stuff was nasty too. But we buy that. Right. We buy on it. That's what I'm saying. Art is like, and that's all races, all cultures. You start talking about artists, artists be nasty. They're human too. So they did nastiness right. and that. So why do we pick and choose so much? Why do we hate so much on some of these things? And I don't, I don't, I think we get equal hate because I just think people who can't do it hate. Like, what's that like where you grew up oh you think you better than me yeah why yeah. you gotta act so white oh mm. 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 talk white that was my life why you talk white me too. i me got too. called an oreo all the time all the time talking middle white. school high school yep so i'm not black you? I'm a little white girl. I I got friends who still do that to me now. They'll be like, "Oh, you just a bougie little white girl." You bougie. That's what. That's why I get mm. called on that. You bougie. So, again, another element. Here we are. Like now, education. Your education level. Your your desire to be educated. Mm-hmm. You're 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 frowned upon now. You're chastised for it. You damn near punished for it now. You know, listening to what them white people telling you. Yeah, yeah. I saw, oh, I saw a meme from a person who said, you know, pretty much the meme was like, "Oh, you gonna get your vaccine? You gonna get your vaccine shot?" And, it, and the, the person, I guess, was driving off. They was like, "Oh, you um, some oh, choice words for him. Yeah, you had some choice words for him. Right. But the whole, the whole goal of the meme was like, you know, you believe that you believe everything. You a follower. You were right. to, you you were, you a tool, but then they turn around. So where'd you hear that? Oh, I got it from. Like we're all getting our. Inf- I mean, I don't want to say we're all getting our information from the same place, but there are a certain elements of uh, news that applies to all news that like not all news is factual. Well, I mean, mm-hmm. the, yeah. And I think if you paid attention to nothing and you, but this is where keeping up in the desire to know things and do research, right. this is where it comes in. Because if you if you took that time to try to figure it out and sort through it, the truth and the lies, tell each, they, they tell each other. Mm-hmm. They do. They, they reveal themselves. You, you, you begin to figure out what's what if you're in tune to everything. Right. You know? No. You're listening to Big Pharma, Kenny. That's your problem. I know. You believe in what Big Pharma is telling you. You a slave no. to the white man. Slave. <laughs> Yo, the, the local hotel, he stayed coming at me like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he always tell me I'm a slave. I'm a slave because I went to college. He didn't even want his right. daughter to go for her master's. But he was like, you right. a slave to that white man. And what? And what's... <laughs> I'm, what's his name? Nduku? No, I just call him the local <laughs> hotel. I was giving up his name. My thing is, like, I have no, like, and I'll be having problems with the local hotel. But my thing is, when you try to talk to him, like, don't, the problem is the approach. Mm-hmm. I right. don't have to look down at you or judge you because you have different information than me. Right. How about we share information or if you were able to talk to me in a manner where I may be able to learn, maybe I could learn from you. But like Lindy was saying, what is it? You were slave, you this, you that. You calling me names is not going to make me want to learn from you, dog. Right. But also, but, the, okay, so tell me what I'm doing wrong. But that's the thing. So it's like now so this goes back to the whole judging and hate each other. Right. You coming at me with hate already. You coming at me with negativity already. How am I supposed to bring myself to learn that, you know? But if mm-hmm. some people, like, the approach is important, y'all. It is really important how you communicate and talk to people. Absolutely. But what do we do? We tear each other down first. 
sure nothing do. nothing good comes from that. Yeah. Nothing good. If I start talking trash to both of y'all right now, y'all not gonna listen to me. Mm-hmm. Y'all not. Y'all gonna tune me out and be like, nah, because I'm that's not love. Right. And that's the problem where we have with a lot of people. We approach each other and all we do, we start hating. We start black hating. Men. And you black can see, do it all black, the time. Men, black men do it too. Black men do it too. And we do we mm-hmm. what we do, we do subtle jabs with each other. Yeah. We it's a little sneak this mm-hmm. subtle jab. We talk about each other behind our backs. We gossip. Right. That's all part of the negativity. That's all playing a factor. It is. We do it. And I've seen men, I know you said women do it. Black men do it just as much. Right. If not more. Yeah. I, I think, I don't know. I think that black women, they may do it a little more. I've I mean, I mean, For I think, being. you know what? I would agree because y'all, y'all communicate with each other more. Mm-hmm. Y'all probably have more social circles than black men do because we don't really have social right. circles to do this. Right. So what happens, probably happens on a smaller scale, but we do it. Mm-hmm. What do we do? We be hating. Yeah. Hey, you see Slim with the whip. He got that new car. He know he ain't got no money for that. He know he broke. <laughs> or I, I had to say, matter of fact, my home, my own homie did it to me a couple weeks ago. Um, went and went and pulled up, went and saw them. You know, had had some had some boots on, but because I'm securing myself, what do you say? Yo, those are some big boots, dog. Made the face. Are you just- Jealous, <laughs> but I peeped it. I was like, "Yeah, you know, I ain't paying nothing to it. I ain't paying no mind." But I, I knew what he was trying to do. Right. That was a little sneak joint, and and there's certain people I know, and they they do that. I know how they already operate. Right. I just thought of an. I thought of another one. Me too. Yo, I got after you. <laughs> hey, Kenny, I see you with that new charging. Where your broke ass get that? <laughs> Or, yeah, and like, you know, because I'll let you think I'm broke, too. Yeah, I ain't got it, dog. I don't know. I'm scratching up change. I don't even know how I got it, dog. I don't even know. i say that real quick. But Or people count your money. Right. You know. I was just going to say um, how the girl in my group that I'm in on Facebook, she posted that on Christmas Day, she gave her kids land. And then her picture was dragged all over the internet and people mm. were hitting on her because instead of buying her kids toys, she invested in their future. And the girls in my group was like, they just mad because they can't afford land. Or, if, I mean, if they really thought about it and tried, like, but again, because what's the perception of what we've been told about Christmas and all that stuff? We all right. know it's bull, too. Right. But also, we, why do you, you shouldn't care? That's right. bingo, bingo. I just bought my kids land. Who? But they could. Like, but that's that's I mean, another thing. I hate to, I'm sorry. I hate to. I was. I was starting to go somewhere. My bad. No, but what you're saying it makes perfect sense. Why do you care about what we doing over here? Because they jealous. Stay your ass over there. Stay over there. And that's that's a lot of. I mean, even before social media, I know everybody blames social media for that because it just amplified uh-huh. everything. We everybody can put their opinion down somewhere now. But that was right. happening before all this. That goes back. We talk, who cares what you like? If it's positive, cool. That's what y'all choose to do over there. Cool. Even if you don't agree, shut up. That ain't you. It ain't you. It might not be for you. That's what and makes that's, us all, we're, we're different. And that's okay. It is okay. It is okay. We are all not supposed to be the same. We're all not supposed to say the same things. We are all not supposed to agree with each other as well, too. It's another thing social media has brought about. If you, if, if you ain't, like, if I ain't for you, I'm against you kind of thing. No, we're not going to have the same opinions. We're not. Mm-mm. And that's but, okay. But the, the thing is, people don't understand that. It's okay to it's okay like, to be different. I can, right. I can say, hey, I don't like ketchup. And there are people with that are literally ready to murder me because yes. I don't like ketchup. Yes. Oh my goodness. I can tell you well, one of the jobs I worked years ago, there was this whole thing amongst some of the employees rather to keep keep ketchup in the refrigerator or leave it in the pantry. This thing 
literally almost came down to like knockdown blows and stuff. People were <laughs> literally like, pe- oh my goodness, it was that deep. People were like disrupted in their jobs because of this. Because like in the office, everybody had to, you know, share the kitchen and stuff. One person would put it in the fridge. Another person would take it out of the fridge, put it in the pantry. They was leaving notes on each other. Staff meeting getting heated because they having a, it was an item on the staff meeting. The catch up. <laughs> the damn catch up. The catch up. This is black folks too, y'all. Yeah. This was black folks. Like, who cared? To the point where somebody said, you know what? This is how crazy it was. We're going to buy a bottle of ketchup, put it in the fridge. We're going to buy another bottle of ketchup, put it in the pantry. Whatever one you want to use, just use it. It's really not that's, that deep. That, that solves the problem. But that's my thing. Whatever works for you, use it. I think also, I think a lot of the time, and I say this a lot about uh, just like disagreements, people aren't always here for solutions no they're here to fight they are here to fight Woke up and chose violence yeah right and because it, and what it is whatever happened in another part of their life is something like that they're transferring it to now what's happening now that's right. what I always say i love people i don't care that much like for real i love you but i don't care that much to argue with you right i just don't i don't care that much now, people I'm- or to correct you sometimes. I don't care that much to correct people. Mm-hmm. I don't. Right. So people be mad wrong. I... I don't have the energy. I don't. Let's just say I do other shows, right? And I was doing another mm-hmm. show. And people were saying stuff that I didn't agree with. You know what I did? I waited for them to stop talking. Right. Let them say their piece. Kept it moving. Did I, I didn't agree with what they were saying. Though. I really didn't. Okay. That's, that's their opinion. That's cool. 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 I still love them. It's still fam. Ain't nothing changed. Right. We are different. We are different. That's it. Some people just want they catch up in the fridge. Some people just want they catch up in the pantry. It's and okay. Then, and then there are the other people that want their mustard in the fridge. Yeah. Whatever I flows. They're in the fridge. I want them in the pantry. I don't even. my like, water. Uh, and you know what I learned and working that's there? That's okay. You know what I learned working there? What's up? I can eat them either way. <laughs> I don't give a shit as long as it's ketchup. Right. <laughs> Yo, I, I love y'all. <laughs> I miss this so much. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so we have to get to this point with each other, y'all. We got to stop hating on each other. We got to stop, like, because all this hate distracts it us from what, it distracts us too from what we're doing right yeah if i take mental time and energy and thought to be worried about what you're doing that takes away from me and my life right takes me away from what i'm doing yeah come on y'all like we got to stop this black hate Ooh, like and you know what that goes back to what's that mind your damn business Another thing. Mm-hmm. chill out mind your business focus on you and I find, I think I'm pretty sure, matter of fact, I, I might guarantee hmm. life it goes a little bit smoother. I always said that if people just mind their own damn business, imagine how wonderful this world would be. Yeah. Yeah. And then other things will start coming together, y'all. Goodness gracious. All right. We, we, we've had a good pod. I know we could keep going with this. I'm going to wrap this up, though, for the sake of time. Yeah. For the sake of, for the sake of some folks got work. I don't. We're going that late night tip. Yeah, I'm gonna be up. Like I ain't gotta do nothing tomorrow, you know. Yeah. So, um, but oh, we're going. Excuse me. I know. You know how I go. You know. But I, I just want to be. Rockefeller. Some, oh, some how light. can I get like you? How can I get like you? I'm trying to get like you. I'm trying to get like you. Right. Pig. What's up? How can I get like you, big money. You know what? You know what I'm gonna tell you. I started. I started with science class and social studies class. Oh. Um, oh. Oh, you know, I tried to educate it over here. You know, I, I I really, I guess, you know, talking white got me somewhere. <laughs> um, I really tried to educate, educate myself. I don't hate mm. on people. Okay, um, Mr. President. You know, no, but he, see, that's he cool. Hate. Yeah, so that's exactly. Hate. That's how my that's, you know, that's how my uncle be. That's how my uncle be. be like, hey, Mrs. President, Miss Smarty Pants, know everything. That's the hate. See, that's the subtle jab. That's the hate. That's what it is. We, we can't say, hey, queen. 
Love yourself, queen. Hey, queen. Love yourself, king. Nah, we throw jabs. So I nah. We, we I, but you know what though? Look like we keep it a thousand. We all have done it. We all do it. Right. You know, I think just be more conscious and mindful. And sometimes even as we play, I know we play and joke with each other. Sometimes just remember, not everybody thinks that it's joking and playing. That's right. true. It was a joke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we I know it's a joke. I know y'all love y'all, but you know. We have to be mindful of of the other people who we communicate with sometimes. Right. I, I'm I'm guilty of that too. Sometimes I play and joke and I say things that really don't they're like they're perceived to be horribly wrong. And oof, I made some mistakes on that end. I've said some stuff. I put my I'm, foot in my I'm mouth. Definitely. <laughs> oh, and I had to apologize. I was trying to joke and they weren't on joke time. You know, so we get there, y'all. Yeah. Um, but this is how we I start off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we're gonna get there if we get there if we go together. Yeah. So you know what? That's a good way to wrap this up. 2022, mm-hmm. we're going together. The three of us, we're we gonna get there. Let's get there. Community coalition show. I'm excited for the year and what we're coming about and what we're trying to do with Absolutely. this platform. So stick with us, y'all. I think I think y'all will be surprised. I think y'all will enjoy what we got going on. I think Absolutely. I think by the when we wrap up this year, I think we're going to be in a different place in terms of the growth and the progression we're going to do as a show here. Mm-hmm. Um, again, as I always say, David and Yindi, you know I appreciate both of you. Appreciate y'all. You know I love both so of much. you, um, and I like where we're going. Love yeah, you too, you bro. Know, you know, <laughs> you know. It's not all that sentimental stuff now. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, but so we're here. So, you know, y'all know we bl- right. we sponsored by the Black Square Media Network. Yes. Um, as we Ooh. grow, they grow into. Yep. And I want to say, if you are a Black-owned business or a Black, you're Black-owned or something of that nature, if y'all want us to talk about you, reach out to us. I would like y'all to talk about me. Yeah, we. I would love to. We need to get to that. I would love to start doing more right. business shout outs and. Right. Honoring Black business. Shout them out. out. Shout them out. What Shout we got? Out. Let them out. Tell them, Yindi, who you are. Hello, what you do? my name is Yindi, and I am a traveling dog groomer. So, in the Maryland mm. area, DC area, not Virginia. <laughs> yeah, go to this whole state. <laughs> I'm willing to travel to you and groom your dog. I take all sizes. I don't discriminate. See, mm. so so see if Amen. you need you. If you need your pit bull trimmed, you know, I know. <laughs> but yeah, if I, if I don't need a, if I don't need a cut. I'll well, I cut, I cut dog nails, Oof. brush teeth. Mm. I give them a paw spa. See, see. Grooming. Get the little doggy mint. Tape, though, nah, nah. <laughs> Get the little collar on them before you holler at her, y'all. Uh, the little flea collar. Before you holler. I yeah. come to your house. Get the collar before you mm-hmm. holler. See? No See judgment. <laughs> Tagline right there. If Cat- they mad Ooh, it, grab I the- don't care. Yo, grab grab the collar before it. Grab the collar before you holler. See? Man. <laughs> there you go. Hey, community call show. We got bars coming on the way too, y'all. If y'all ain't bars. know right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm closing this out, y'all. We're going to be around next week. Check us out. Holler. Yes. Peace. Peace.